What up, YouTube? We got a, an unboxing today from Vertex. So, a little bit ago, whenever it came out, maybe last year, I did a video on the Vertex uh, SOCP or SOCP or however you want to say it, uh, sling bag. And it wasn't very good review, didn't love it. And they came out with a new one. My biggest complaint of the old one was it was too small, like nothing would fit in it, like not even like the small, I didn't have any way to conceal carry, any kind of conceal carry department. And it wasn't really well, well documented or advertised, you know, on their website or what would fit. So um, they came out with this, this is a bigger version. And so I wanted to check it out. So I put one on order, uh, did not send this to me. I did buy it with my own money. And I am like sweating because I'm in my garage. I just got this out of the mail and it is hot today. So it might not be a very long video because yeah. So, check it out. I got the green color. This is the canopy green. I have this color in their, one of their bags. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. One of their larger bags. But this one does have a dedicated, I bought the dry pod, concealed carry department. In fact, it comes with a holster type thing built in, which is cool. It's also hook and loop. So, if you want to do something different for a holster solution, I'd recommend the Kivio Tactical they make an attachment. It's just a Velcro, hard like hard back Velcro, that will will attach to this, and then it takes like a um, uh, Safari Land HLS system, and you can actually have a decent holster system in here if you want to do that. It does add bulk. Um, this will work obviously, and we'll see what kind of guns fit it here in a sec. So that is removable. That comes out, and then you do have a little pouch behind here as well, make kind of a hidden pouch. So there's like a little hidden pouch back there. It is getting hot in out here. Um, yeah, you do have a dedicated concealed carry apartment. It even came with a holster, which is really cool. Uh, on this inside, you've got... So it only opens that far. You've got a, a mesh pocket here. I love these kind of po pockets because you can see what's in them, right? Um, in fact, it's got pockets within pockets here. So you've got an even smaller pocket inside of there for small items change. You've got some molly attachment here, some elastic, so some pens, things like that really easy it's really easy to see what's in there this is actually removable which is also cool if you want to take it out and utilize this this uh velcro back you know this uh doesn't it's tactigami type stuff that they do uh everything's gonna velcro is gonna attach to it essentially um you have all that space in that compartment and then you actually have a front compartment that also has storage um you can see here we've got two pockets here one there and one there put whatever in there and you've got a uh, key ring attachment and another see-through pocket in the front. Also, you have this front pouch for your phone, which is pretty cool. And I think it just, does it slide out? Um, I thought it slid out. Apparently, oh, I see. It has this little guy here, this little retention strap. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, this undoes right here and then you can get to your phone or whatever device you want to store in here gps or whatever uh for easy access pretty cool right that folds down so like oh my phone's recording i went to go grab it um <clears throat> put your iphone or whatever in there it looks like it'll fit a pretty good size phone and you can just kind of that can just kind of go down like this so when you have it around your waist you can look at your navigation or whatever you're doing so that's cool how that works like that and this kind of protects it uh, from what you know people seeing what it is so it looks like just a fanny pack pretty neat back here you have multiple ways to mount an, a sock p dagger um, nice strap looks like it'll easily function as got a lot of strap there to work as a fanny pack or as a sling bag um, that's usually how i carry them but you do have a lot of different ways here to mount a sock p dagger so I happen to have one here i carry this one almost on a daily basis and the idea here is quick deployment of this dagger you kind of have to finagle this clip these clips are kind of hard to work with honestly but you've got this rubber there you go rubber opening here okay see so like that will conceal that when it's up against your body but you'll still have access to the dagger so you can this is the smaller one you could do the full size one as well so kind of what it's designed around so so far, first impressions, this is an unboxing first impressions. This is way better, way better than the original one. Like, this is what the original one should have been. Um, you've also got some hidden 
compartments here, which I like right here on the, if you want to stash some stuff in here, you can. We'll stash pockets on both sides. That's nifty if you're carrying around your waist. Um, and again, should work pretty well with as a sling bag because you've got a lot. Yeah, you can make this pretty long if you want to adjust it, make it as long as you need it to, to work as a sling bag. If you don't want to carry it as a fanny pack, easily can be, oh yeah, nice and long so you can adjust that. Nice quality buckle. Um, guys, this is a huge improvement over the other one. What I like about this design, it's flat. Like, it's not super bulky. I mean, it's kind of wide, but it's not super bulky, so it's not going to look really funny on you. So, um, yeah, this is the unboxing first impressions. I think in the next video, we'll do a full review, and I'll show you what will fit in here. They say up to a Glock 19 size. I would say easily. Um, I would say that's pretty reasonable um, assumption. But let's just... This is probably going to get my video demonetized, but let's take my SIG uh, Spectre Comps 365 and kind of adjust this holster around that. So it's an adjustable holster. You just kind of mess with this Velcro a little bit. And I've got a weapon mounted light on here, so that, yeah, look at that. That'll work. Oh, yeah, that works nicely. covers the trigger. And then you just kind of tighten this here. And that will sit inside here like this. And yeah, so the 365 Spectre Comp, so that's the 365 XL essentially fits with an optic and an and, but you can see there's a little bit of a, see that little bulge right there? So maybe we can get that a little deeper or go at a different angle um, to kind of hide the slide a little bit more. Let's try that. Yeah, if we do this, so you kind of have to, so the 365 XL is a good fit, uh, Glock 19, is going to be tight, especially if you have an optic on it. But I think it might work. I'll have one. I'll try it. We'll do another video. We'll try a bunch of different kinds of guns and see what fits. But for this, the 365 XL fits perfect. So really nice little setup. Definitely dig this guy. Um, I think they're about a, uh, 90 by 90 bucks, 90, 90 to 100 if you use. There's a bunch of discount codes out there. I used um, Last Line of Defense, LOD, 25% off. So Definitely a huge improvement. Way to go, Vertex. This is the one that we wanted the first time. Thanks for watching this unboxing and overview. We'll see you next time.